this is a 23 v-strom 800 really neat bike eleven thousand dollars it's 800 cc i believe it makes 84 89 horsepower uh upside down forks adjustable preload in the back led lighting everywhere front and rear it's got the quick shifter up and down just an awesome bike for 11 grand and you get a tft screen you get a tft screen A 5 inch TFT, it's telling you uh, it, this bike's only got uh, I think 2 miles on it so at 600 miles you need to do the first service on it but that's kind of standard but anyways thanks for coming back to the channel make sure you're subscribed make sure you hit that like button if you like this kind of content uh, we'll be test riding pretty much everything they've got here at Plano Kawasaki Suzuki and I do have their link in the description let me get on this thing and let's uh let's get going i've never rode one of these it is a, like a 33 and a half inch uh seat height i'm really about 32 inches uh i am tiptoeing on it uh but it's it's not that big of a deal i mean they do make a lower seat suzuki does it'll drop it about an inch and a half let's take this thing out beautiful display huge thank you to Plano Kawasaki Suzuki for letting me do these first rides uh, you can talk to AJ or any of the salespeople or if you're not happy with the answer you get talk to Mike Cannon he's the sales manager they want to do whatever it takes to earn your business that's reasonable but uh, anyways let's let this truck get past us he don't know what he's going to do. Like I said, I am a 32 inch inseam. This is a 33 and a half inch seat height, but I, I can put both feet on, not both feet solid on the ground, but tiptoe. It's got your gear selector in that TFT screen. And this bike is super smooth. I, I mean, it's not, not clunky forward or backward, or I could see how you could ride this for, if you wanted to ride two or 300 miles in a day or even further. I mean, the, the seating position is almost upright. The visibility is real good out of the mirrors, and it does have a quick shifter, so I'm not using the clutch. Fourth gear, fifth gear. Pretty neat. Eleven thousand dollars. That's cheap. You can't even buy a ten-year-old used car for that. And I know you're not going to have as much fun in that used car as you would on one of these. Man, this thing handles really good. I see the appeal to these uh, adventure bikes. I've always wanted to ride one. I kind of been fascinated with them, to be honest with you. The BMWs in like a 1200 uh, uh, engine size would be like $25,000, $27,000, I believe. So, this is definitely a great entry level, entry point bike. You do have adjustable uh, dampening and rebound on the tops of your forks, and you got it in the back. I showed that to you earlier. Yeah, I like this bike. Lockable uh, fuel cap, which that's not a big deal. I mean, if you're gonna have to steal gas out of a motorcycle, you gotta be desperate. You're only gonna get a gallon or two. It's probably got a four gallon tire. Oh yeah, this thing will move. You can tell it's got high 80s uh, horsepower. The feel on the front brakes is excellent too. It's not super grabby when you first get into it. Man, this thing really carves. Man, this bike is so comfortable. Got your blinkers, your horn flash to pass up here. This, 
This is Michael Moo. Well, I'm impressed. Six gears. We're running 60 mile an hour, cruising about almost 4,000. Yeah, 4,000 at 50, 58, 57. Uh, I think he said 60 miles to the gallon, 55, 60 miles a gallon. It does have it on the gauge there. It says we're getting right now at 60 mile an hour. We're getting 60. I'm giving a little gas now. 63, 69, 60 miles a gallon on the average is what the computer's saying. This is a pretty awesome bike, man. I see the attraction to these. This is really what you need if you just want to go ride to, you know, and you don't want to, you don't want your back hurt, and then you, you know, it's got enough, it's got enough oomph in its pants to where you can still have a lot of fun, but not, not end up in, in jail. These sport bikes and these sport nackets like I got, they just make you want to twist the, twist the throttle and, uh, you know, they can get you in trouble. But anyways, yeah, that quick shifter, that clutchless shifter is nice. Yeah, it's got the power. You need to speed up in front of somebody or something it's definitely got it of course you know anything above about 60 horsepower is going to be plenty for the street but this thing i think is high 80s i could be wrong i'm not touching that clutch i'm just shifting down roll into second gear it's not it don't do that herky jerky you know, when you're slowing down, it don't have none of that. Pretty cool. Boy, you could put your little uh, exhaust, like an Acropovic uh, silencer on here if you wanted a little bit more oomph out of the exhaust. You might not, though. You know, you could wear your ear pods and have your phone mounted up here like I've got this uh, 360 camera listen to your music in your helmet yeah you know and also too you leave a comment but when when these bright these bikes that have like higher uh, seat heights after they break in the seat it, it, the suspension will get a little bit of a sag in it it'll drop half inch to an inch but I'm a 32 inch inseam and this is like 33 and a half and I can touch I mean I'm not flat footed but I'm, I've got both feet on the ground it's nothing scary for me but you could get the, the lower seat the inch and a half lower seat if you wanted to or I'm sure somebody makes a link for the suspension to lower it traction control trip odometer Man, the motor's super smooth. Six miles on this bike. And I probably put four of them on there. Man, huge thank you to Plano Kawasaki for allowing me to do this. They've got some really great salespeople up there. They're like uh, the uh, biggest store in the South as far as, far as volume. They've won several awards from uh, Kawasaki and Suzuki. Uh, so if you can't make a deal up there or get financed, you're probably not going to be able to get done anywhere They sell those right there Aprilia's AJ is the store manager Mike Cannon is the uh, Sales manager super nice people And then that, of course you've got all the salespeople and they're just sitting there willing to help you know they're 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 so nice i don't know if they're paid commission it's almost like they're not paid commission i mean you can just come in there and browse and uh they'll ask you if you need anything and they won't you know pull on your shirt or nothing every three minutes kind of neat fa family atmosphere there 
very good balance on this bike very good balance I tell you what eleven thousand dollars that's not much for this bike ABS on it traction control I'm sure the uh, full coverage insurance if you got full coverage on it it's gonna be cheap 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 because really it's not like a sport bike I mean there's not no I wouldn't think other than the gas tank that's probably the most expensive thing on it and maybe the headlight housing awesome bike and there's so many new bikes that are that are really making their way I see why this adventure market is is so uh, is so growing like it is because you can ride on the street and in the dirt it's I mean you can do several things you know pretty cool but anyways thanks for riding with me thank you Plano Kawasaki Suzuki I know I keep plugging them but they're just awesome people their uh, information is going to be in the details of my uh, all my videos in the bottom and uh, we'll see you on the next one make sure you uh, like and subscribe if you got something out of it and here's two videos that you two think you ought to watch and I wouldn't say I'm shocked cause I'm hardly surprised This one's for the ride This one's for who knew I'd make it, just needed some time This one's for my wife Could've left a thousand times just to by my side This one's for the grind I knew it would happen, just had to strengthen my mind Till the videos, they thought I was a black guy mm, It's hard to get over I'm falling in this world, but